previous videos, we've had a look at how to create a requirements list, how to design a screen, and from the screen, how to create the event list. Now we're going to start looking at how to write the pseudocode. Now, pseudocode, the word pseudo means pretend. So this is pretend code. And in theory, you can put in anything you like. But in practice, when you get started, it's a good idea to stick to certain regular commands until you get used to how the whole system works. Once you're an experienced programmer, you can do what you want. So a pseudocode program starts with the word program, followed by the name of the program. So in this case, it's program formula one. And then you have end program. And whatever happens between program and end program, well, that's your code. Now, since we created an event list, it'd probably be a good idea to take that event list and add those events to our program. So, for example, we could add the event btn data entry underscore click. So this is a place where we're going to define what happens when the user clicks the button data entry. We're not going to put any code in for the minute. We're going to use an old programmer trick. Where you've got a whole long list of things and you need to do things to that list of things and it all gets terribly complicated, simplify the problem. Just make sure that you get all the events in. So, for example, we could then enter event button data retrieval click, event form entry data entry load, and so on. We just put these blank events in, and we create the outline for our program. And it's that outline that we're going to fill in in the next video.